Well, it is a unique idea which is gaining some traction. The president of Shaw University is asking Raleigh police to open a substation in one of the school's buildings near downtown. CBS North Carolina Steve Sprasia talking to students at the South's first historically black college. And Steve, there's obvious questions about cost, but how do students feel about the potential for having police on campus? Talk to a lot of them, they seem to like it. You know, sitting right here in the heart of downtown, Shaw University has a great locale, but it's a locale that some students say could use a little more protection. Shaw University's open campus means that anything which happens in the city also happens around students. About two weeks ago, there was two guys that came out the car right here where the uh, police booth is, and one had a gun. And um, I don't know if he was ready to shoot somebody. Though Shaw does have a campus police department, some students say those officers could be supplemented. Security, I feel, handles it pretty well. But if uh, a little bit of policing, that could also help, too. It can make stuff a lot more safer. Campus police can handle it or what? No, I don't think they can. Why? Because I feel like it's only like a few of them. And I feel like they all can't be at one place at one time. And then that could be helpful for it to bring, like, the city of Raleigh here. The school sent out this letter on Monday saying it's been talking with Raleigh police about the substation idea for more than a year. And discussions continue, but nothing concrete has developed and no timeline has been established. Meanwhile, students we spoke with generally like the idea. I think that would be great. You know, the police are here to protect and serve. So as long as they're doing their job, you know what I'm saying, that would be great for the school. And uh, great for everyone around the campus. Putting a substation on campus would be a complicated issue, and the Raleigh Police Department has some concerns, including what will it cost, what are the benefits, what are the staffing requirements, and what kind of precedent might it set. Now, if the school and the Raleigh Police Department do finally decide to go ahead with the idea, it would be the city council which gives the final approval. Reporting live from downtown Steve Sprazier, CBS, North Carolina.